Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek and in Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add AdMob advertising into your applications. Now already on the simulator, I have an example of what we'll be creating today. We have our AdMob ad banner being displayed in an application. So it's kind of just like how we do our iAd, but with um, the iAd net um, AdMob network. So already on my project set up, it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it AdMob Tutorial for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing you need to do in setting up um, to be able to display AdMob advertising in your app, you need to go to the AdMob website, uh, log in and go to monetize a new application. Now if your app's already on the App Store, you can simply search it or if not, like, like we are today, we're going to add one manually. So I'm going to name it Add mob example. Uh, select your platform, and we're doing iOS and continue. We're going to be using a banner, and you can select no refresh, refresh or the re, um, refresh rate. You want it to uh, change um, the banners every so often. So if you do the lowest at 30, that means you'll have more banners being displayed in your app, possibly meaning more advertising revenue, but you know, depends how, it, how the, um, what kind of advertising is being shown at the time. And now we just give our ad banner a name. So I'll just name it banner. Something very simple. So you can see on your report, it's very easy. And then once you've done that, it's simply done. You then need to then download, if you click on the Google AdMob SDK, it will take you to the download page here where you select iOS and you simply download this link here. Now I've already pre-downloaded the uh, AdMob kind of SDK here, and all you need to do is copy everything but the add-ons, and then drag and import them into your project. You can place them anywhere you like, so in the supporting file, so it's nicely tucked away from the rest of it. Now once they're all in, they're already preset to ready to display your advertising, but there's still a few things you need to do to get it all set up. So we'll just go to that there. And the first thing you need to do is add some build phases. Now you need to add these so the ads can perform. So it's such as uh, you need the ad support, the audio toolbox, uh, graphics, message kit, store kit for you know, multimedia banners. Now if you go back into the uh, website here and where it says add mob and go to the banner section here, I've already got it loaded up. This is uh, oh, the getting started one, sorry. If you kind of gives you a brief um, example of how to do it but if you scroll down you got a list here of um, frameworks you need to add into your project so if we just get started with them now so first one is the add support add that one in uh, the second will be the audio toolbox third is AV foundation uh, fourth is core graphics and possibly we could add in the also the telephony one here. Add them both in. Uh, we need to add our message URI here. Let's add that one in. And now the store kit and system configuration. So store kit. And finally system configuration there. So there are all the frameworks, it's quite a lot, but as banners can come in all shapes and sizes and formats, it kind of covers every possibility, meaning you will have from the basic text banners to the full interactive multimedia banners. Now we did that, we need to go to our build settings, and make sure you selected uh, your app here on the targets, and we need to scroll all the way down to the linking section, which is just here. And then we need to click on other linker flags to drop that down and make sure both the uh, debug and release uh, are, if you go to the um, plus symbol here and add a dash, a capital O, B, J and a capital C and just simply add that in there and make sure they're all selected onto your there we go. So make sure the linker flags, debug and the release all selected to the objective C kind of little bit of text there. 
And then once you've done that, you're kind of already and already set up now to add banners into your projects. All that's left to do is the coding to know where the banners should like be displayed on the screen. And how we do that is if you go to our view controller.h and we import space quotation marks, we have to import our G capital G A D uh, banner view. Now this is this header here, which will uh, be able to import the kind of stuff that's needed to display. And uh, you see the headers up here; they're all linked to one another. So then go back to our viewcontroller.h and do space bracket and press enter, and then we do GAD. This is creating our ad banner. There we go. So GAD banner view space, and we just give it a simple name: banner view underscore so then when we come to the coding it's very easy to understand and see what's going on so if you go to our view controller.n and this is all going to be placed in our view did load as when the view loads we want the banners to appear so if you, they appear at the very start of when the application loads it means you're maximizing your revenue potential so we do banner view space equal space bracket bracket uh, GAD banner view space alloc and after that first bracket we do init with frame and then we do two brackets there and in between them we do just do that for now and I'll just finish up this line here so this is kind of the coordinates to where the banner will be displaying so how we're going to do it is is the init with frame here oh we missed out a certain bit there so cg rect make let's just get rid of that section here let me uh miss that little bit of line there so these are the set coordinates to our banner so if i just do zero in all of them for now and then finish up the brackets there okay so the first one is that the, well, the first two are the x and y coordinates so as i'm going to want the banner to be displayed at the top of the view i'll set the first coordinate to zero and the second, as uh, on the example here, you can see it's um, just below the uh, status bar. So if I, I know the status bar is 20 uh, in 20 pixels in in height. So if I do 20, this means it will start the banner just um, 20 pixels in from the top of the view. And now in these two sections here, we do the size of the banner we want to display. Now, as the iPhone kind of banner is kind of standard to 320 pixels by 50. We're going to simply do 320 by 50. Now, if we quickly jump back into the website here, and if you go to, I believe it's Banners Adds 1, I believe it is. Oh, no, Banners Add 2, sorry. Click on iOS, and then you can kind of see here the uh, type of banners that AdMob has to offer. So, minimize that now, and uh, once you've done that, we go to our new line, and now we need to put in Banner View dot add unit id space equals space that symbol quotation mark quotation mark and that was semicolon now in the quotation mark here will be the add id of your ad banner you created now we need to place this in as the when it tries to load up a, an ad banner it knows which one it is and obviously it's all linked to your account and it's used to understand and what you do if you go back to this page where you created your ad banner you will see your add unit ID you just want to copy all of this line here minimize this and place that in there so it knows it's your banner and it's all linked up directly to your account meaning you'll earn all the revenue now after that we do banner view again the root view controller space um, equals space self and that array semicolon and then we do bracket self dot view space add sub view as that's how the banners can be displayed in a little sub view over your view um, equal well in the highlight section there we do that banner view and there are brackets semicolon and now the final little bit now is banner view space load request and we're going to load that to our GAD uh, request 
space request and uh, two brackets and a semicolon. So then that's really it's all that's needed to display uh, ad mob avatars in your app. So if we go to build and run now, as you see it loads and we just have to wait a few seconds and there we go. So we have our first and banner there being displayed and I believe we set it for 30 seconds so eventually after 30 seconds if there's um, advertising available to display it will change up while it's being displayed and you can see it's all you know interactive and you go into it you can download stuff and you can see ads by Google so that's simply how you add ad mob advertising into your applications it's a great extra way to earn revenue with uh, you combine it with iAd so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's helped in your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and um, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Uh, check out all our apps on the App Store by simply searching Geeky Lemon. And most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Come on, Bob. Come on. Come on, Bob. Oh, I got a little more pinky. I got a little more. No, it's not my pinky. I got a little more finger.